So we just got this new trailer at Gamescom for Zenless Zone Zero. Let's go through this trailer first. And then we also have a new gameplay showcase. So there's new areas. Look amazing. The art style is absolutely fantastic. Like a faction system. There's a day and night cycle, actual days, very much like Persona. They're adding some mini games in an arcade. Snake. New gameplay mechanics. Because they're adding more variety to the switch in effects. Evasive, defensive, and aggressive assist, I think. The camera angles are kind of crazy. Very cool. The music is also banger. And now we have the gameplay showcase. So this is going to go a little bit more in depth into what we've seen, right? So they're showing like the new areas right now. They're in species and they're actually like doing things in the environment, so it feels alive. The aesthetic is so cool. They nailed the aesthetic. All right, so yeah, the cooking shop. These buffs actually look pretty big, like 15% HP and damage. That's a pretty big buff. It's, I think it's going to be more like Monster Hunter, where you get buffs before you actually go into a stage. Because the buffs actually matter quite a bit. And you're probably going to want to do like probably the mini games or something to get the ingredients for cooking these foods. Oh, this is cool. The animations are so sleek. This is easily the best Mihoyo has actually done in terms of animation. Hey, you here to play? Welcome to Godfinger. Oh, the arcade. Off, That's a lot. Hmm. Well, if you want to match against me, that can be arranged. They're kind of going for like a nostalgic thing. I wonder like what kind of rewards these will give. Hopefully it's not gonna be tedious. It's just like a mini game. Snake duel, so I, I guess this is like Stidrayo, like snake, Stidrayo kind of stuff. Yeah, it's like Stidrayo. That's pretty fun. I like the system they're doing, like Persona, you have conversations with the characters. And as they keep adding new characters, the world will keep growing, it'll feel a lot more alive. Oh, such a cool vibe.
I think we see the combat here. Oh, it's a boss fight? Sick. Oh, we're starting with the wolf guy. Ooh. Well, first of all, the camera movement is really cool. But there seems to be a lot of emphasis on the switch ins now. And there's parrying. I'm interested in how the parrying is actually working. Because he's switching into parry, but I'm pretty sure you can parry with basic attacks too. Oh, that was a cool switch in combo. So I guess like this game is going to be more focused around just switching in for burst damage. After building in the gauge. So that's what it seems like he's doing, right? Like he's using his basic attack to build the gauge and then just switching in to do all the attacks. And we saw previously like those skills of switching in that you could choose between three of them. So probably that's what you're gonna go for. I like how the music slows down too. That's cool. Oh, that's his ultimate. Oh, that's sick. Phase 2. Oh, the design is sick. I love that design. Very colorful. Like super neon cyberpunk. I like that they're putting so much effort into the boss design. Like the boss actually has carefully animated animations. Oh, that combo looked really sick. Oh, you can freeze the boss? Ooh. There might be part breaking too. It looked like there was a little bit of part breaking for this boss. Oh, that's her. Uh, that's the ultimate. Damn. They should have shown this at Gamescom. That combat looked really good. I'm gonna rewind a little bit. See. A few more things that we can probably spot. Phase 2 was very cool. Alright, so on top left you can see that you get 3000 points, the combo points. And perfect dodging matters a lot. Which I'm very excited for because any game with parrying and perfect dodging is really nice. Wow, that parry sequence was really cool. So it does seem like you can parry with basic attacks. There is a lot going on though. It's very flashy. So kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on. Unless you're the one who's actually doing the combat. This is actually, this kind of combat is very close to Wuthering Waves. Z, Z. I think that was a great showcase of gameplay. They've shown quite a bit of new stuff. It's a little strange that they're focusing on some tiny stuff like those mini games that they added. It's only like two mini games. I'm not sure why there's so much focus on that, but uh, I like the fact that they're focusing on the combat more. 
compared to what they did for Genshin and HSR, where it's a lot more about cinematics and characters and the world building. And I feel like ZZZ has a foundation for all of them. So it could be really good. It's very promising. So let me know what you guys think about these trailers and what are your thoughts and expectations for the future of ZZZ. And that's it for the video today. I hope you guys found this video useful and have a nice day.